Hello, today I'm going to be doing my own nails. I pretty much just make it up as I go along. So I'm just doing like some 3D nail art. And to be honest, this is kind of like my go-to look every time I just want to get some nails on my fingers. All products in today's video are from Zillabu, and whilst this video isn't sponsored, I do make a commission if you use my discount code JAMES10. I'm going to start off with this The Army Primer. After doing full nail prep, I've dehydrated my nails with um, some pure acetone, and I'm going to kind of scrub this in to lightly etched nails, making sure I cover all those places where my nails usually lift, like at the base and on the kind of like corners of my nails. Then I'm going to take this Honey Base from D-Gel. It's one of my favourite bases because it's thick enough to kind of um, not kind of leak all around your, the walls and like the nail bed and down by the epinichium and stuff, but also light enough to give you a nice thin base. If I do use a little bit too much, I just wipe the rest off and cap the free edge because I always find this helps prevent any kind of chipping on the ends as well. And then I'm just going to do this for every single nail, other than my thumbnail, which I always do separately, just because of course it's at a different angle, so the gel tends to move a bit more. I am shaking, I've started doing my own cold brew coffee, and it's, it's really started to make me shake, so I wonder if it's too much for me. <laughs> As I said, I'm making it up as I go along, and this new collection from Tiny, some of the best self-leveling beginner-friendly um, gels, Korean gels, are amazing. I want to use some of them. The colours do look a lot more muted on camera, but I really like this like purpley blue. I did want to use a glitter, but these are a bit too glittery for me. Um, not for me in general, but for this particular look I have in mind, slash making up, and this blue is really nice as well, so I'm going to use these two. Then I'm going to take um, my Diami brush set. I need a new one. I've really messed up these brushes. Um, oh, I don't know why I did that then. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm going to use this syrupy gel and kind of like go on with no real um, design in mind. So I'm just kind of like blotching it around. I want it to look a little bit rustic, a little bit graffiti-ish more watercolory than anything, so I don't want to cover the whole nail, and I want it to look patchy in certain places too. The, the tiny purple didn't look too different, so I'm taking this Izemi colour instead, which is a bit more of like a pinky syrup, and again just doing the same thing, just kind of blotching it on, letting those syrups kind of run into each other. One thing I learned from watching um, Unistella work is that all these little things that you think aren't going to make a big difference kind of add so much depth to your nail. So you'll see with the glitter later, I'm not going to put it everywhere. I'm just kind of building these little layers that when you look at the nails, you kind of have so much more to look at and it's got so much more depth. So I'm going to take this Bonnie B glitter. This is like, I believe it's one of those like flash glitters and um, some mixing gel. I used way too much product here, but I'm going to mix them together. I literally needed the tiniest amount here, so I don't know why I used so much. Mix them together. And then I'm just going to place the glitter in random places. Again, I just want the la like natural light to kind of catch on this glitter sometimes. Um, and for it not to be so evenly spread along the nails, again, just adding more depth to the look of the nail. So as you can see, you've done it in random places. And then I'm going to use a mirror top coat. This is essentially just a non-wipe top coat um, to, first of all, encase that glitter a little bit. But also I'm going to do a chrome now over the top. And whilst my final design won't have chrome everywhere, I'm just going to cover the whole nail and uh, you'll see why. So I'm just putting this uh, non-wipe top coat everywhere. I'm going to use this Diami, 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 Diami Chrome Powder. Um, again, it's like a purp, almost like a purp, purply pinky orange almost. Um, and I'm just going to put this all over my nails for now, giving it a really good scrub. I don't necessarily love these disposable things to apply chrome, but I also like sponges and I don't like using my finger. I just get the best result with these. And then using this first street clear gel, I'm going to start adding the 3D elements to the nail. Using this deep liner from Diami brush set, I'm going to get a very generous amount on the brush. And then what do I start with? I think I start with just like this metallic drip circle. No, I'm not. 
I'm gonna start by doing this almost like mermaid-esque, I think it's called, or like seashell-esque design that I'm gonna change up a little bit. And I'm gonna cure between each one just for 10 seconds, give it a quick flash, flash cure. With this technique, you always need more on your brush than you think, <laughs> just so that the product kind of free flows a bit better. Just adding dots, random kind of like nuancey little bits here and there, I believe is the correct word, nuance nails. Whilst this is a non-wipe top coat, I am gonna wipe it and I'll show you why in a minute. <laughs> but this is just to get those 3D elements and that depth. Now I'm gonna go in on the other two fingers and I'm gonna do this kind of like metallic drip frame that again is just one of my go-to look so easy to do but always looks like a lot more impressive than considering how easy it is to do you know once i flash cured it i'm just going to go in and make it a little bit thicker make it a bit more 3d in certain places again just adding more um depth to the nail then do the same on the other fingernail, but try and make it look like a little bit different. And we are gonna ignore this little finger because I messed up really bad, so don't look at it. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna take some gel wipe. This is isopropyl alcohol and just wipe away that chrome powder. I, this is because you'll see, I kind of want the chrome to only show under the, the 3D gel, that thicker viscosity top gel, because it kind of adds this kind of like seashell-esque kind of look to it. Kind of aurora -y, but also not really. When the light catches it, it just has this really kind of like 3D kind of glow to it. You can see here when I move it around, just get glimpses of that chrome color powder. Okay, so I'm going to be using this Gin B. Um, it's kind of like a non-wipe top gel on this kind of more streamlined applicator brush, which I absolutely love. Now, obviously the gel before was non-wipe, but I was just using that to kind of encapsulate the chrome in certain shapes. So we had to wipe it. So now I need to add back this non-wipe top coat because I'm going to be putting silver chrome as you can see over the top of them. I always find that now this chrome won't stick to the um, gel underneath because when I use non-wipe top gels and then wipe them, the chrome won't stick, if that makes sense. Usually, so non-wipe top coats are good for applying chrome, but when you wipe it away, the chrome won't stick. So I always find it good to kind of use a non-wipe top coat under the chrome. I'm gonna, no, <laughs> it's gonna be really confusing. So yeah, still being cautious of where I um, rub in that chrome. I don't know where this is from. It's just some cheap chrome powder I've had for like two years. <laughs> And then I'm gonna do the same on that middle finger, just making a few of those 3D bits more interesting by adding some chrome. I'm gonna add a little ball here, just cause I feel like it was missing something at the top. And then go in with the chrome.
gently brush all that away. And then I'm gonna go in with this honey top again from D Gel because it's a nice thick viscosity. So I get to encapsulate everything. Your nail isn't gonna look even, it's gonna look bumpy, which is the whole point of like 3D gel art, right? But it's thick and easy to control and kind of keep in place. It stays where you put it so it doesn't run and leak. It doesn't like flood into those side walls. And then I'm gonna go in with the Jim B um, non-wipe one just to kind of get in between all these awkward bits where a normal top coat brush can get but it's difficult to get into so just make sure everything's covered in a top gel give everything a good wipe after even though it's non-wipe I like to just wipe away everything so it looks cleaner and there we have those four fingers let's move on to the thumb base coat as well. I did apply dehydrator and primer, forgot to show it, and then I'm gonna go in with those two syrup gels again, doing the same kind of just dot everywhere technique. I don't know what I'm doing with this glitter or what I thought I was gonna do. I think I do just put this glitter everywhere on the thumbnail to make it a bit more of like a statement nail. You can see I'm literally changing my mind halfway through about what I was gonna do, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is usually what happens. I spend a day doing my nails, making it up as I go along and just change my mind in the moment. So I kind of want to do like a little um, ombre, but not really. So I'm taking this purple gel from Tiny again and the Diami Bear brush. And I'm just going to do like a little ombre-ish circle thing in the middle or whatever this is. I don't really know. Again, making it up as I go along. <laughs> you can't massively see it in the finished product, to be honest with you. But I thought it might add a bit of interest and depth to the nail. I'm gonna do the chrome powder again. So I'm gonna take this non-wipe top gel. To get a good chrome, I only cure this for about 10 seconds and then do the chrome over the top. Otherwise the chrome does tend to look kind of dull. And then finish curing after. And I'm just gonna add this to the circle in the middle where we've got this like pretend ombre thing going on. Aura nails, I believe it's called. Again, with the first street, non-wipe top gel in this really nice thick viscosity. I'm gonna do that mermaidy kind of shell nail thing as well. It's gonna be a little thin here, so I'm just gonna take some from the top and pull it down through. Curing again between each little line. <laughs> just flash curing, and then once it's all on, I cure for a full 60 seconds. There it is finished. Again, I'm gonna chrome a few bits. I think here I actually forgot to do the Jin B um, top gel over the top, so it's looking a little bit lacking that kind of metallicness. Then for something a bit different, I'm just gonna chrome in the middle um, of these mermaidy shell bits. I don't know, just thought it was interesting. <laughs> I just wanna show you here as well is that you can obviously top coat with a normal um, brush size if you've got a non-white top coat. It's just a little bit difficult and you need to take time making sure you don't fill in those gaps too much so you still have that 3D effect. And that is this hand done. Of course you want your fingers to look nice after so I'm going to take this cuticle oil which I love because it leaks just enough on the end that you don't have to touch the dropper on your skin. I'm just going to apply it to all the cuticle areas, all the epinichiums, sorry everyone and then just rub that in. It smells so good. This smells like a lot of the aftershave I wear. Then you can see with the movement, it kind of like catches the light, the chrome catches the light and has this more kind of like 3D shell type effect to it. And then I did my other hand as well with a bit more blue. I did a blue, blue chrome and so like some um, silver kind of like pink streaks as well. Um, a the, the fun's a little bit different too. Again, just kind of making it up, but doing the same thing really. See, there's a bit more blue on this hand. And that's it, really. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below, and I'll see you soon.